Hey everyone, it's me, Diara. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a new pick a card, which is all about the next seven to ten days. You already know my style, my readings. I upload regularly in two languages, just saying it. Um, to avoid any confusion. I am working bilingual. That means sometimes I do upload in English and sometimes in German. Okay, so these are the three parts to choose from. Number one, timestamps will be provided for you for free down low. This is going to be part number two. Just pick and choose, take your time, go with your intuition and part number Three, the next seven to ten days, what do we need to know? Let's go. So if you have chosen pile number one, let's let me just write down the time stamps. Give me a sec. Here we go. So one zero eight. Wow, very spiritual number. So if you have chosen Pan number one, what do we need to know for you about the next seven to ten days? What's coming in? What will the energies be like, you guys? Thank you so much for sharing and subscribing to my channel. If you ever want a personal service, um, just head over to my website. I do offer two kinds of readings, WhatsApp for those who don't want to wait. I usually will be able to provide the WhatsApp reading within one to two days. And then you can also get something more profound, something more detailed, um, a regular reading, which is 25 euros. Okay, so I keep my prices pretty doable for everyone. I know times are tough. So what do we need to know, Spirit, the next seven to ten days? What's going to be important for us to know? What do you want to share with us? Power number one. Let's go. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take care of yourself, please, power number ones. And watch out who are you spending your times with, okay? So probably you are surrounded by energies um, which are not good for you. This is the not for you card. Um, and it comes along with stop complaining. So if you find yourself in a position, job-wise or friendship-wise or whatever, where you feel like you're not appreciated enough, not respected enough, you know, like people don't really, I don't know, value you, um, then stop complaining and leave the situation. I don't know. Have you ever heard like, love it, change it or leave it? It sounds mundane, right? It sounds very basic and simple, but it's so true. Um, if you find yourself probably for years now in a place where you're not happy, it's time now for you to leave. And I feel like, I mean, this is a timeless reading, isn't it? But if you find it, the moment I upload, which is end of September, we're talking about autumn, right? We're talking about, I mean, there's no coincidence, like the, <laughs> like the, the trees are changing, nature is changing, like a 180 degrees. Um, in this season and like the things that are falling down from the trees are called leaves right and i think probably this is also a coincidence so to say um which reminds us or should remind us that everything has to leave one day everyone has to leave one day um right you know what i'm saying here like leaves and leave uh-huh, yeah, <laughs> I like to play with words. Um, if you don't get this one, then probably the message is not for you. It's just that this is probably a message of letting go something that no longer suits you. And sometimes this feels weird in the beginning. Let me just give you um, a quick example from myself. Most of you know that I'm a yoga teacher and 
Um, with the beginning of the pandemic, which is already two and a half years ago now, almost three, um, I started to teach for free once a month online yoga. I was delivering um, an uplifting flow and I invited everyone to join just like that for free. I didn't charge anything. Um, and I just like the other day, like yesterday, I announced that I will no longer do that. Okay, um, my work is valuable. Yoga is priceless. You know, like we need yoga probably more than ever before. And I'm not going to provide this beautiful thing called yoga any longer for free. I know that people are going through tough times and not everyone is able to join a regular studio for whatever reasons, you know, um, but still what I have to offer, people have to pay for it from now on. I mean, I still love to, to serve. Like what I'm doing here, online, YouTube, card-wise, is also for free, isn't it? So it's not that I'm saying like, okay, I'm not going to do anything any longer for free. Um, still, I am a very generous and giving person. But you know, like you have to set some um, healthy boundaries. That's the message for you. Also... When I said right in the beginning of your reading, um, take good care of yourself, it includes your body. Take good care about what you eat, not just who you surround yourself with, like inside and outside. Who do you surround yourself with in terms of people, friends and whatever, but also like from the inside. Do you drink enough water? Do you sleep enough? What do you read? How do you talk? Watch your self-talk. Do you exercise even or haven't you been to a gym like for 20 years? Um, take good care of yourself from the in and outside. I feel like something is about to change for you. Um, and it, it starts now, okay? It probably has already started. Eight of action, eight of wands is a timing card. And it says action will take place within the next eight hours days or weeks which is two months okay so i really feel like this autumn is going to bring changes for you and i feel like these are going to be good changes don't worry about them okay it's not that you have to leave a situation that you love and it's going to be heartbreaking okay i'm not talking about that stuff i'm talking about leaving something and it was already time okay and you know that you will know what it is that you have to leave and Spirit is now preparing you um, to really do it. Because it's one thing to think about it. It's one thing like to think about that. Yeah, I know I should do this or that. And then it's a whole other story to really go and boom, do it. Um, it's going to make you happy. Three of Cups, the happiness card. Joy, laughter, you will dance, you will hop up in the air you will be like yeah i've made it finally so yeah and overall your guardian angel right now the next seven to ten days is archangel gabriel and <clears throat> he's about sorry I'm, I'm sorry he's about um mercy and also like cleansing right it's all about cleansing and tidying up your life so again i think the message is uh, pretty clear here for those who have chosen pile number one. You will finally leave something that no longer suits you. You will tidy up your life from the in and outside. Um, maybe changing your diet or starting to work out again. Um, maybe, I mean, what does it mean work out? You don't have to go to a gym to work out. It could be yoga. It could be meditation. It could be dancing. Probably you guys will start dancing. I don't know. Um, but you should just generally take good care of yourself. Okay. That's very, very important, especially now in this season. Okay. So I think I'll leave it here. Thank you so much, guys. Peace out and namaste. Okay. So what do we need to know for those of you who have chosen pile number two? Let's go. What do we need to know for you? Pile number two, the next seven to ten days. Whoops, a jumper. 
the next seven to ten days for those who have chosen pair number two. What do we need to know, Spirit, the next seven to ten days? I feel like this has to do with the love situation. So I will use one of the love cards here. So yeah, let, let's go. The next seven to ten days. Oh, abundance. I like it. Codependency, uh-huh. Four of Swords, the lovers. <laughs> gratitude, making um, a gratitude list, writing down everything you're grateful for. And then, last but not least, um, again, abundance. So we get the abundance card twice. Abundance is coming in, pile number two. Wow, congratulations. I think there will be a lot of things you will be grateful for. The next seven to ten days, you will probably wake up one day and feel like you want to cry out of gratitude, like happy tears, you know. Maybe you have been through growing pains um, in the past. It was like a transformation going on within yourself or maybe also like outside You've probably changed your job, your location or whatever. Um, and now spirit is paying you back, as I always like to say, if I see cards like that. And you don't see them that often, just, you know, by the way. So you have all reason to be grateful for life and your current um, state. I mean, life goes up and down, doesn't it? So sometimes... We are in an upswing, which I see for you happening now. And sometimes then there will be other times, okay, where you feel like more tired and maybe not very creative and stuff. And that's a natural state. That's just how life goes. Um, so enjoy now your upswing, pile number two. Just be happy for it. Okay, I think you deserved it. Maybe you are stepping out of codependency um, in terms of love or your job situation. Um, I was talking about that a little bit in the first pile. So I would not um, necessarily say that you should listen to pile number one. It's just that sometimes we have to end something so something new can begin. Okay, and... This new beginning is maybe not yet visible to you to the fullest, like to 100%. Maybe you don't even have a plan or a certain strategy, but you still, you just know that, okay, this has to end. I don't know where I'm going to from here, but I know that this year, it has to end before I go. And hmm, the other day, I, I was... I listened to a beautiful quote and I don't know whether I can translate it in a good way, but it was like, I, you know, like I moved my foot up in the air and she carried, you know, like it's just making the first step, making the first step, just lifting up your foot, start to walk and the air, the energy will carry you. And there will be a lot of things you will be grateful for. Um, listen to your intuition, okay? Don't let others tell you what to do and what not to do. Just listen to your intuition, four of sorts. Um, take your breaks regularly. Take good care of yourself. Like if you feel tired, sleep, okay? If you feel hungry, eat. Just the simple things, okay? You know what I'm saying? So, um, what else? Is there anything else we should talk about? I mean, I love the abundance card coming out twice. So, I think good things are about to happen. Yeah, no in reverse. I feel like maybe life gave you a couple of no's in the past. But since the card is popping out in reverse, I feel like now it's time for a yes, okay? Say yes 
to chances, opportunities. Also with the lovers card. I mean, let's talk about the lovers, right? Um, this is a decision. It's a decision to love. It's a decision, you know, like choose love, choose a loving approach, choose to open up again, choose to stop being depending on someone, stop running after someone who doesn't love you, okay? Um, sometimes we have to say no because that's a big yes to ourselves. Um, so I, I like that. I, I really like that. Um, and I think this is probably a quick pile, not such a long uh, pile here, but the message though is, is beautiful. Like surround yourself with abundance. Know that you are having everything that you need. Be grateful for everything and spirit will take care for you, okay? You don't always have to have a plan. You don't always have to have it, you know, like sort out to a 100%. Just start walking and spirit will provide you. Final card? Yeah, enjoy the current moment and look at that serendipity at the bottom of the deck. I, I told you, spirit will take care of you. You don't have to figure it out all just like now, but just start walking, start doing, start living, okay? Stop saying no, start saying yes, yes to abundant because you deserve it. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like maybe you had some financial issues or just the wrong attitude when it comes to, you know, like charging people for your services in an appropriate way and stuff. Maybe you did a lot for free and now you're saying, no, I will charge for my services. I am a worthy person and I deserve it. My services are precious and they need to be treated like that. Okay, so this is it. Thank you so much, pile number two. Um, I see you with the next reading. Okay, so final pile, final pile, final energy. If you have chosen pile number three. Pile number three, what do we need to know? The next seven to ten days. I'm curious. I'm getting, I don't know, pretty uplifting energies here. Like, while I'm shuffling your pile, I feel like good things are about to happen for you, pile number three. I mean, all, all two piles have been beautiful, so um, I'm not going to compare the energies, but somehow, I don't know. <laughs> I'm in a good mood now doing your pile. So let's see. Last for life, I'm hearing. Wake up call. Being in a good mood. Enjoying life to the fullest. Mercy. Helpful people. Become active. Take care of your finances. Five of swords. And serendipity. Okay, if you have some financial issues, um, there will be helpful people, okay? Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. It's a beautiful song, by the way. Um, if you want to listen to it a couple of times, probably in the morning, while you are in the bathroom, preparing yourself for the day, listen to uplifting music, especially this one. Don't stop believing. It's an old one. It's like from the 80s, I feel. Yeah, I feel like it's from the 80s. Um, so don't stop believing because you will get what you need and there will be helpful people. Um, let me read from the card. Five of Thoughts. The path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you that will make you much more happier in the end. Changes are necessary so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or who bring unwanted drama into your life. Yeah, I feel like this card says it all. There's a lot of guidance in this card, right? Um, avoid negative people. Surround yourself with helpful people 
people who have only the best interest, uh, people who can give you good advice, good guidance, don't stop believing that everything can turn out into something better, into something beautiful, like probably way better than you have ever imagined. Um, if you have some financial issues, stop ignoring them. Okay, which is also a very important advice. Stop ignoring your problems. Sometimes we like to sweep those, you know, like those things under the cape carpet and we act as if everything is okay. That's just a little period, you know, like things will get better because I believe. Uh -uh. It's not going to work like that. Yes, you have to believe, but also you have to make the work. You have to make the effort, right? And if you have some financial issues, start taking care of them, okay? Become active because they will not resolve themselves just like that. Um, there will be some happy coincidences though, serendipity. I love this. I love the word and I love the energy. Things will happen and you probably have not um, expected them to happen. Probably people will show up from the past that will help you. Um, yeah, the magician which is all about manifestation and like having the scepter in your hand, like become active, think about stuff, take care of your, your needs and your issues. Okay. Don't stop ignoring them. Stop sweeping them under the carpet. And at the same time, believe that you will get all the answers and you will get the support that you need because sometimes Problems are just too big for one person alone, right? Help is out there. People want to help you and people, yeah, you see, there is a certain tribe, the right people, soulmate energy. Surround yourself with the good ones. Avoid negative people. And also what the card was saying in the beginning, um, you have been on a path. And it turns out to not be the right one for you anymore. Don't be afraid to change. And this is, I think, the common energy of all three piles. Like in the first pile, I was talking about autumn and leaves and that we should sometimes leave something behind, which is the quality of the season, right? Nature is changing and it's a different change than the one in the beginning of the year when we talk about spring where everything is blossoming and whatnot, you know, um, high hopes and good weather and everything is becoming brighter and shinier in spring. But now, like it's a 180 turn. In, in autumn, everything is becoming lower and, you know, just different. And we should not compare these two things, actually. It's just like a different quality. It's a different season. And the season is about leaving something and changing. But not in order, you know, like to, probably not necessarily to, to blossom from the outside, but no, more like from the inside, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah, I feel like this is your message. This is it. Pile number three. I hope you like this reading. Thank you for sharing, liking and subscribing to my channel. I don't know why I'm losing so many subscribers these days. I think it's just the algorithm of YouTube and I don't have um, a big company behind like no one who's merchandising or advertising on my channel. And I think others, you know, like the ones who have like 50,000 subscribers or maybe even more like 100 thousand subscribers um they have a little advantage here but anyways i keep continue upload my my stuff my work and until i have the feeling you like it so thanks for your support peace out and namaste